First up, NVIDIA Blackwell AI servers have been exposed to component shortages, quote unquote, and they have a limited supply that's expected in quarter four of 2024. So NVIDIA's decision to opt for liquid cooling might have costed them as Taiwanese suppliers start to report shortage of components to power Blackwell AI servers. You see what happened right there? That, my friends, is exactly why the perfect example of why i do not read articles okay with you at least i do take a quick glance at the articles before i end up sharing them with you but this is actually something i need to uh, explain to you so let's go ahead and do this your boy's about to get off topic so youtube okay there's there's a few ways that you can grow on this platform one i'm literally gonna piss off so many creators right now that sell courses okay i have had six different youtube channels every single one of these channels have com com just totally completely killed my interest in what i once upon a time loved i recognized this with my pc channel and that is why i do not build full-blown computers with you anymore i just do what i do where i talk about the parts that i'm using and then I have B-roll of the actual finished computer because I genuinely love building computers. And I know for a fact that if all I am doing is recording myself build computers with you for an hour or two, my interest in building computers will completely tank and I will not enjoy it anymore. This has happened with all six of my channels. UBS, literally almost said UB, er, USB says that nvidia blackwell shipments have been delayed six weeks at most so you guys get the point these are all like basically covering the exact same thing all right nvidia blackwell gpus delayed 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 all right so this right here geforce rtx 4070 with gddr6 memory is set to arrive after august 20th i'm gonna let you guys read this chart here uh this is actually getting pretty ridiculous okay we have 4060 8 gigabyte. We have 4060 Ti, 8 gigabyte. 4060 Ti, 12 gigabyte. 4070 this, 4070 that, 4070 Super, 4070 Super this, 4070 Ti this, 4070 Ti that. Dude, it's like your your average person that doesn't sit on their butt watching YouTube all day, leaving comments about how much they know on a video that's literally titled something they're explaining, but the person leaving the comment is just too brain dead to realize that they literally clicked a video to learn something. And then they go down into the comments and explain what the video is literally explaining to them, but they know so much more than the creator that made a video in order to help people. So not everybody is that person. Real quick, just wanted to say that if you would like a PC from me, my Facebook business page is linked down in the description below. I do not charge you anything other than the cost of parts, which I do in fact give you a full list of everything with the final cost before I order it all with my own money. You do not pay me anything until you see the video, the performance, the benchmarks, and all of that kind of stuff. So again, link down in the description below. So anyways, Black Myth will come... Black Myth Wukong Benchmark Tool is now available for free and it supports DLSS, FSR, and XESF. You know why he made this video is because it's AMD. It's AMD. That's why he made this video. Okay, it's just AMD. I do. I don't know. I really, I genuinely do not understand this. It is ridiculous. It is such a night and day difference between NVIDIA and Intel. You say the slightest negative thing about AMD, the smallest, slightest, tiniest little situation. It could be your, your graphics card came to you and it had a scratch on it. Oh, it's not AMD's fault. You took it out of the package improperly. My 7900 XTX didn't have a scratch on it and it is so much better than a 4090 because i don't know how to look at the internet and check my facts about a 4090 clearly being better than a 7900 xtx and then you go on to make a video about how your nvidia graphics card had a scratch on it oh i knew it nvidia is scamming creators by scratching the graphics card and making them not worth as much when i receive it but i <laughs> But you get my point, dude. The 9700X point blank is not a good CPU, all right? Like it's right now, it's not a good CPU, dude. It's just a fact. Your, your the, the comment about the 9700X being good a couple months from now is irrelevant because the new motherboards are not out, dude. 
So when people like me that go and review a CPU and give you the actual numbers using the actual motherboards that are available with all the actual things that you're actually capable of using and it's not just AMD talking out of their ass giving you a bunch of false numbers that you know just as well as I know are not even going to be remotely close to what you get with the exact same computer that is why I said what I did in that video dude they are not worth it they're not a good value that is a fact okay yes i'm fully aware that you're going to save a couple of dollars every single year by it not using as much power whoop de do are you really going to like <laughs> okay so so anyways i'm when so when i said all of that stuff dude i made it very clear that when the new motherboards are out and the features that amd is releasing are actually available to us then yes the CPUs are going to be worth it. And yes, we're going to see some enhancements with what the current benchmarks are saying. So when people like on like people hardware unboxed have to go and create a 30 minute video to explain to everybody what I just explained to you, it's just it blows me away, dude, because if anybody made a negative review on Intel or Nvidia, it would just be everybody would be like oh screw nvidia oh screw intel oh i knew it i knew it i need to come back because i do, I do want to say something about all the youtube stuff because i may not include that since it is a little bit it did come come a little bit longer or the video turned out a little bit longer than i expected it to the reason i create the content that i'm trying or the reason i create the content that i create is solely to build a community that can relate to me that finds similar things interesting and we can just hang out and talk about stuff. I am not trying to be the next gamers nexus. I'm not trying to be the next hardware unbox. I'm not trying to be the next technical smart scientist that everybody in the YouTube comments seems to be. That's not who I'm trying to be, dude. I'm just trying to be a fun creator that you can come and hang out with, talk about things, hang out. And if you find the similar stuff interesting, then you find similar stuff interesting. And if I'm too, ADHD for you and I'm too hyperactive for you. I'm not doing what I used to do. I'm not niching down I'm not like trying to do this and that and focusing only on this and trying to be the most explanatory Explainer on the planet. I'm just sharing things with you if you're too brain dead to like read Microsoft meta Google it, like dude when I come over here and I talk and I read this to you and then I come down here and I start talking about this and then like this is all here and I'm talking about stuff are you like how many people are just are you incapable of reading like the reason I do that dude is for audience retention because dude it's just a fact man uh, there's videos that I do clickbait but it's never misleading it's never fake it's never not real unless you're the typical person that clicks it and expects me to say a hundred words in one second to please your fucking TikTok brain. You know what I mean? So I'm going to end the video. <laughs> Peace.